Okay guys, I'm going to do a little lifting demonstration on my Bruder Cat Delta loader that I custom built. Uh, I am using a 25 kg uh, hex fly servo to do the lift on here. And I had uh, somebody say, oh, you don't have enough power, you need more power. Um, this is a pallet, a wooden pallet of uh, real concrete block. Uh, there's 36 of those blocks on here. This one here, there is 50 concrete blocks on here. I'm just going to do this a little bit. Um, I had to redo my pallet forks due to the fact of my custom built wooden pallets. The factory brooder ones, if you've got any of the pallet forks, they're way too thick at the back and then they narrow up. And I know that's to stiffen them and make them stronger. So to make them work for my pallets, I went and I ground them down, but it made them so flimsy and they bent easily. So I actually built my own set of pallet forks out of 8th inch steel. I ground the bottoms of them to make them tapered and uh, drilled and bolted them with some countersunk screws to the original mounts that I... Uh, so they will still adjust in and out like they should. Um, but yeah, I've had a few people say, yeah, no, it won't lift anything. Well, okay. Now it does get a little bit tippy. It won't quite lift it to the full extent of where it should, but uh, it does lift it. Now, that's the pallet of 36 blocks. Well, here's the actual concrete cinder block uh, pallet of 50. Will it lift it all the way? No. But there's putting a lot of strain on these plastic parts. Um, this skid loader is intended to do some, maybe some light pallet work, but, um, and do mostly dirt work. Uh, I have three dirt buckets for it, a tooth bucket, a wider light material bucket, and a small dirt bucket, a uh, regular flat edge bucket. So, um, yeah, for all you people that doubt that it will actually pick up anything, well, proof is in the video. Um, now, if, I don't know if anybody of you have followed me on my Facebook page, but I redid the tracks. Um, it actually turned out pretty good. I actually used some rubber, my wife's pinking shears, and I cut the zigzag strips. And then I used the vulcanizing tire cement, basically like tire patch cement, and glued them a bar in between. There is 68 total pieces that I had to uh, to do, so um, it's a lot of work, time consuming. Um, if anybody decides to do it, bond them. Kind of, I, I had to bond a few of them and then put them in a. Uh, I set a piece of metal over top of them to kind of help them bond, and then I would do a few more and do a few more and then get them all set on there. Uh, the nice thing is these do snap apart. There's a seam in here where you can take these tracks apart and you can lay them out flat. And then uh, it all worked out pretty good. Um, does it give it more traction? Sure it does. Uh, real rubber, way better than them smooth tracks that were originally on there. Um, sometime I'll get a, an actual out video of it running in the dirt and, and see how well it digs. But, uh, you still got to re remember people, these are plastic toys. Um, they have their limits. These really have some limits on what you can and can't do with them. So, um, I could add some ballast weight in here, but I've got this so jam packed full of electronics. I don't have the room to put a bunch of ballast weights in here. I have actually added some lead weights here, a lead weight here and here, 
and all of the uh, open spaces that are under here I have filled with lead and uh, actually went and uh, hot glued them put a ceiling of hot glue on them to hold all the lead shot in there um, and it makes it pretty pretty heavy um, helps with the, the pushing and whatnot and uh, I do what I do people so anyway just gonna make this short video I went a little longer than I wanted to but uh, catch you guys later